I could tell Brad totally wanted me to beg, which is why I said, I'll be your best friend, even though he knows I already am, which is why he finally gave in and told me what was up. None other than J-E-H, by whom he meant John Eric Hexel. <laughs> I almost died when I saw him, can you believe it? Now, in case you don't know, because he's not that famous, John Eric Hexum is an actor. You might remember him from a TV show called Voyagers, in which he played this time traveler named Phineas Fogg, but maybe not. The show only ran for like one season. I used to watch it with my dad on Sunday nights at 7 o'clock back when I was in 7th grade. Now, the reason Brad seemed so amazed by all of this was, just the other night, we were talking on the phone, and he started telling me all about this made-for-TV movie called Making of a Male Model, starring Joan Collins in J.E.H. In the movie, Joan Collins plays Kay Dillon, a successful modeling agency owner in search of a new hunk to represent. Enter John Eric Hexum as Tyler Burnett, a corn-fed farm boy who Kay transforms into the hottest male model of all time. According to Brad, it's so good. <laughs> I just read he's on some new TV series, I said, remembering I saw something somewhere about J.E.H. making a comeback. With Jennifer O'Neill, I think. Never heard of her, snarled Brad. What's the show called? Cover Up. It's all about this detective guy who goes undercover as a male model. That's gotta be him, he declared, totally psyched. Which explains why, nine hours later, we are on our way up the stairs leading to Big Boob's Janelle's bedroom in search of a copy of Playgirl magazine, Entertainment for Women. <laughs> now the funny thing about Janelle and her boobs is, Whenever we're in Brad's room and we hear her coming down the stairs, she's always like, ouch, 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 <laughs> with every step, holding her breast in pain. Brad says one of these days she's going to give herself a couple of black eyes. <laughs> he picks up the magazine from the nightstand, right where he said it would be. I catch a glimpse of the blue cover with yellow letters. Cover up star John Eric Hexum, TV's sexiest body bears his mind. I can't even believe Brad's sister left it lying out in the open like that. Their mom is very religious, and somehow I don't think she'd approve of her 16-year-old daughter looking at Playgirl, or her 14-year-old son and his best friend, for that matter. <laughs> Here, Brett says, handing it to me. I take note of the tan suit jacket and blue open-collar shirt J.E.H. is wearing on the cover, which perfectly matches his bright blue eyes. Let's go back to your room, I whisper. Not that anybody else is home to hear me, but there's something about being up in Janelle's bedroom that totally creeps me out. Maybe it's because it's her personal private space and we have no right to be nosing around in it. Or maybe it's because her room is kind of like an attic with the kind of ceiling that's slanted on both sides because of the roof. Or maybe it's because on the slanted ceiling itself, Janelle's hung up a bunch of posters of half-naked Chippendales dancers. Maybe it's just me, but I feel kind of weird looking at them. Not weird weird, but like I've already said, I don't judge other guys. But some of them are so good looking, it totally makes me want to puke. They've all got these totally muscular, totally perfect bodies. I swear, they must work out at least five hours a day. Now, I have no idea why we're doing this, but here we are again, back in Brad's room. Open it, he says, encouraging me. Go on. We're sitting side by side on his bed with the November 1984 issue of Playgirl resting between our laps, listening to Cindy Lauper singing her latest on 96.3 WHYT. I begin turning the pages, passing by Collins' title, Intimacy File, Whose Fantasy Is It Anyway? Health, Organic Groceries, Super Health or Super Hype? Michael Jackson, Sweet and Sexy, He's Pop's Greatest Thriller. The only thing I don't see are the naked guys. Keep going, Brad tells me when I question this. I turn another page, only to find a sex quiz, followed by an article on sexual variety, followed by a full-page ad for English Leather Must Cologne, in which a good-looking, cheesy mustache guy with a totally hairy chest to match wears nothing but a Santa Claus hat and a smile. He knows if you've been good, I read. So be good for goodness sake. Oh, brother. Oh my God, look at him, Brad gasps. Of course, I can't help but notice the guy's got a totally big dick. Do you think we'll look like that when we grow up, he asks me? He's pretty cute, right? To which I reply, I don't judge other guys, because I don't. Though I admit, I wouldn't mind looking like him. Well, if you were a girl, would you think he's cute? Which is a fair question to ask, I suppose. If I was a girl, 
I guess I might. Would you? Probably, he answers. I mean, if I was a girl. Then he flips the page and totally starts freaking out. Oh my god, that guy's got a hard on. Gross, I say, turning my entire head away from the page. I can't even believe they can show that kind of stuff. I know, it's totally disgusting, Brad agrees. But when I reach out to turn the page, he places his hand on the magazine to stop me. Then he practically shouts in my ear, wait, let me see that again. <laughs> so I turn the page back and we stare at it.